Hi, this is Hack Radio 2 and welcome to Plastic Bot Wars. New show. No, I haven't forgotten Mini Wars. It's just I, well, P, B, C, D and E will be up soon, the second part of E, But I haven't had time to really upload them because I need to convert them and stuff. And, well, the reason this is Series 9 is because, as Paul417 asked me on the Qualifiers first episode, <coughs> is because, um, basically I've played this before, like for fun before I signed up to YouTube, so I just wanted to continue it and upload it, so I was just finished Series 8 when I signed up, so i do it again. <coughs> right, so, let's see who's in the first, first round battle then. Dan Tonk here. Has a good flipping arm on the front. He flipped the, that of the arena, and unlike the one Hogwarts 94 slash last day tourney has the flipper doesn't come off this version, so... Quite a good robot, and can toss out of the arena. Mega Rem. Has that... Well, it's based on tough as nails, really, because it can, like, grab people with those claws and put them into a pit. But it doesn't tend to do very well in plastic rock walls. And lightning. Saw them in the taster episode of the series 9, when they lost, I think, to Chaos 2. I think they went in the pit, can't remember. It also has that good listening on. And um, some of these like Robot Wars remakes, like Ag Robot and Typhoon 1, but I'll have to put it one, were made by my brother because he's like really into modeling and stuff. In 3, 2, 1, activate! So the first battle of Plastic Bot Wars set is underway. That's on here! Quite quiet so far. Coming in on. Mega M, flipping Mega M. Yeah. And lightning as well. Went quite across the arena floor. There. But Mega M, they've got hold of Dan Tonkia. And when Dan Tonkia were number two seed in series six, they got tossed out the arena in round one by TVS. How embarrassing. But now they're coming on Mega M now. Ref watch down the pit. Out, so he was rest right down the pit, but he probably got some magic way of doing it. But lightning! Lightning's tossed out of the area, bounced on top of the arena wall. There they are, here's the Moro with their driver. And um, well lightning I suppose throughout because Mega Rem hadn't been immobilized for more than thirty seconds. So that's from here and Mega Rem they go through to the next round. <coughs> Just while I set up this next battle, the reason there's a message in the middle of the thing, it's like, I can't pronounce the name, but the person who has I say you in the middle of his video. So, it's like that, it's just a converter, really. So, right then, let's get on then with the second first round battle between Chaos 2. Acrobot and Typhoon 1. In 3. Well, need to explain them. Chaos 2 has that flipper to toss out the arena but has that exposed back. Acrobot, my brother didn't actually make this one because I made it, so it's probably like really good. It's designed to like lift robots and pop at them, so it has that like stage at the back. And Typhoon 1 has been punted really by Razor in battles over series and well it isn't very good. In three, two, one, actually, tell us the name. This is that Typhoon is weak 
his face. You can just flip him around. Chaos Moon, flip him Typhoon 1 again. Fire effort now. Ah, uh, but Agrobot comes in and topples Chaos 2 on their side. Self right. But tossing Agrobot around again. Here. Almost out the arena there. Typhoon 1 has moved for quite a while, so Gazafix coming in to flip, to flip itself. Now Chaos 2 in Series 8 went out because they had problems self writing. But they made it self right now. And Blue Dreadbot and Typhoon 1 at the same time. Oh! Think. Typhoon 1 bounced off my hand and got the pit. The Typhoon 1 is in the pit now. They're out. Chaos 2 and Agrobot, they go through to the next round. Right. <coughs> Tonight's special event, so I'm not stopping the camera here. I'm just talking between battles because it just means you have to upload more videos which takes longer, so. Right, today's special event is going to be Battle of the Thunderbirds, really. Because I just felt like it. Some of them could be actually good contenders in, um, Classic Bot Wars. I was actually watching, actually, Toilet Force 17 series, World Wars House Edition, this morning, and he had a small thing in it. So let's run through the competitors. Thunderbird 1 for its point strike. Thunderbird 4 with its flipper, sort of thing. Bab 1 with its sort of pushing power. The Mole with its drill. Thunderbird 2 with its pushing power. And this could be most impressive though, it's Firefly. It has that good scoop on the front and can self right using that. It's probably the only one here who can self right apart from Thunderbird 1 can when it's on its side. <coughs> so then, let's get on with the first special event of the series. In 3. Two, one, activate. Thunderbird four coming in immediately on Thunderbird two. Almost stopped by the mole. Not the mole, the firefly. As the mole comes in on oh, firefly. Ah, oh, stop with the mole. They can self fly using that sort of thing. Trying to flip Thunderbird four now. Oh, indeed it has. Thunderbird four is over on its side. There's Thunderbird 1 comes into it. It's not the best person I've ever seen in the world. He's not going to have any real weapons. But, oh, I've had one down the pit. First by Thunderbird 2. And now they start to fall. As Firefly underneath Thunderbird 2. And I think it's not for Thunderbird 1 at the same time. But Thunderbird 1 can self right using those strongly wing things on the side. As it now comes back in with Firefly. And it's almost toppled by Firefly. Dreadbot comes in and counts Thunderbird 4 out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They're out. So two locks coming in with them. To deposit them into the pit or on the drop zone possibly. You might put them on the drop zone actually because it's like the first. First part you can actually play with them in the series, for some of the series, so it's quite hard to get to pick up, I think, kill lots of finally. So you might just push them into the pool. Oh, but they've come alive! Oh no, it's attacking the others! Kill a lot will not be happy! Yep, he's doubled them again. Oh, they're in the pit. Oh, Thunderbird 1's down the pit, and Thunderbird 2 is on its back! See that happen? Oh, Thunderbird 2 is now pushed into the corner where Thunderbird 2 was immobilised, Thunderbird 4 was immobilised, but the mole's on its side now! So Firefly comes in, pushes them down the pit, oh they were on the edge of their Firefly. So, Refbot comes in to count out Thunderbird 2, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, turn, they're out. A lot of jumps them out the way. Ref quite out the way actually there. And now he's able to pick Thunderbird 2 up, but he won't put them on the drop zone because 
that thingy scrap me the um, that piece there. Uh, it actually broke off last night when I had friends around, so. Killer Lock puts them in the pit. That means that Firefly, they're the ones in this. Oh no, they're taking on the spot. I don't think we could stand that. I think it's going to be too easy, but it's fun. They're down the pit. Firefly, the winners of this. Join me after the break, really, to see who wins this heat. Bye.